I don't know about you, but I love organizing my stuff, <laughs> especially on computers and in Premiere Pro. What I do is I create folders and then I put everything in folders and then I am so happy. And then when I'm done, I look at what I created and it's just one big mess because I have a folder for literally everything and I cannot find anything. Well, I have a solution for that that I want to share with you in this video. Maybe if you are an organized person, you're already color coding your calendar, you're already color coding your notes, but you're not color coding your footage yet. Why? For example, if you went on a trip and you filmed a few days, you probably will create bins for every day. But if you did a lot every day, you may even create bins for that. So for example, you create a bin called cafe because you went to a cafe and then you shot B-roll of the coffee, B-roll of your family, you have some talking headshots and all those kind of things. And you can create bins for all of these things if you like to organize like I do. But if you create so many bins, that means that you have to click everywhere and sometimes you cannot find something because you thought that it was a brilliant idea to create so many bins and you end up not being able to find anything and just wasting time finding the clip. There is honestly nothing as frustrating as having to look for your clips and trying to find your clips and you cannot find it anywhere. A better solution to this to stay organized and be able to search for everything visually very fast is by color coding. So let's do that right now. I will use one of my videos as an example. One of the videos that I shot was a video for the city where I went to different places and shot a bunch of stuff on those different locations and instead of creating bins and bins and bins, what I can do is, for example, this guy who was playing piano in Central Station, I can select all of those clips and I can right click it and I can say that, okay, cool, I'm gonna choose mango because it's summer and I like mango. I also shot a lot of footage on the market so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a few of those clips and I'm gonna label them and I'm gonna say green because veggies are green. Do you like my way of thinking? I don't know. Now that you've color coded your videos what you can do is you can go to list view and here you will see right here everything is orange those are the piano guy clips and this is all green because this is what i shot on the market this way it is super easy to find it but now while we're editing we won't see those colors on the timeline in order to see those colors on the timeline we have to go to file project settings general and tick this box that says display the project item name and label color for all instances when we tick that and we say okay we can now easily identify that this is where the piano man is because this is all orange this is particularly helpful if you have an eventful vlog or a longer video and you're looking for this coffee b-roll and you cannot find it anywhere so instead of having to skip through the entire video trying to find that coffee b-roll, now you know that you assigned a color mango so you can easily see on the timeline where it is. Not only will this help you edit more efficiently, but inside you will also feel calm because you don't have to look for things and you don't have to waste time skipping back and forth through the video. It's all there. This was a very quick video, but I hope that it helped you anyways. And if it did, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when more videos like camera tutorials and video making tutorials come out. And then we will see each other in the next video.